Potter. Is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the curse breakers and their other friends in the west, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. It's sick at see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? What do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Start. Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. The little 
villains have been up to their old tricks in there. Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought her back. Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot? Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment... It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have nought to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Right. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. It's all right. Sid has nothing to fear from Cooper. After keep. How do, Master Sid? Bardolf. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> least I could do. Clive, what brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. 
We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look from there then. Stay sharp. We don't know when those bastards will be back. But we do know one thing. They'll be getting a proper reserve. When did you get so big? Ready, go. If it ain't the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Well, that 
there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. This shouldn't take long.
This shouldn't take long. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past. 
no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's onto your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mint's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. some rest. All right, Clive. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. See how Jill's faring. Ah, Clive. Taya. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive. I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frost Wolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other 
You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal! <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. I'll pay you back. I'm gonna worm my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. 